it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today is an exciting video because it is the year point of my makeup inventory now if you guys are new I have been since January of 2021 keeping tabs on how many products in each category I have in my collection and kind of using that to help myself not overspend and just kind of have too many things. Um, and I have quite a few thoughts about um, the inventory as it is now. I'm definitely comparing it to what it was six months ago and what it was at the beginning of the year. Um, but let's just jump in to my inventory. So as of the first day of the year, that's when I counted, for primers I had nine full size and one mini for a total of 10 primers. That is up two from the start of the year, and that is up one from six months ago. So I know I've used up a couple of primers, especially in my project pan. I had like two mini primers in there, but um, I feel like I'm good where I'm at. There are some primers that I've heard talk of that are intriguing me like the new one step correct that's completely like skin tone instead of like the green peach and purple but I think I want to keep it around that um 10 mark um if I can I am definitely doing like a no low buy situation this year so I will be doing a video about that so keep an eye out for that but for foundation I have eight full size, one mini, and one foundation palette for a total of 10, which is down two. In the beginning of 2021, I was at 12 foundations, and in July, I was at 14. So I've actually lost more foundations than I gained this year, which is really exciting because foundations are something that take me a really long time to get through. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Concealers, I have six concealers and two correctors for a total of eight. In the beginning of last year, I had um, 11 and in July, I had 10. So again, I've used up quite a few concealers, decluttered a few, and I've done really good in that category. I feel like I'm super proud. Powders, I had six when I recently counted. When I initially started, I had five, and in July, um, I had five. So I've increased one powder. I did uh, use up a couple powders, but then my sister gave one to me and I also purchased two. So I don't know how, hmm. So somehow the math adds up, but yeah, I, I got like three new powders in my collection this year, but I did use up two of them. Um, and then for setting sprays, I have seven full size and one mini. And that's a total of eight. In January, I had eight as well. And in July, I had five. So <laughs> it's pretty much the same as when I started at the beginning of last year. And I don't feel bad about that because I do go through sprays. Like this one counts in the inventory, but it is practically empty. There's only a teeny bit left. So I do use them and use them all the way up. Cream, contour, and bronzers. I currently have four. In the beginning of the year, I had one. And in the middle of the year, I had three. So I have quadrupled <laughs> my cream contour and bronzer collection but this year was kind of I think the year of creams for everybody a lot of us really got into cream products so I think only increasing it by three isn't that bad 
Um, cream and liquid blush. I have 13 full size and two minis. In the beginning of the year, I had 10. And in July, I had 12. So I have increased by five, I think. <laughs> so not the best of numbers, but like I said, this was a big year for cream products and I am really into cream blush. Like I'm wearing a cream blush that I've had for several years right now. This is the Nudies Bloom in Poppy Girl. It's a very pretty like red coral color that I thought went well with this eye look but like I I do use these and I keep them around for a long time it's not something I'm not gonna use but it is something that's gonna be hard to use up so I don't really want to add too much more to that number um cream and liquid highlighters I currently have eight full size and two minis for a total of ten and back in January of last year, I had um, 10 as well. And then um, July, I had 14. So apparently I have decluttered or used some. I know I did use one Super Shock highlighter all the way up in my Project Pan. So that's one that's out of my collection. I don't know what else I got out, but apparently I downsized in that category. So that's awesome. Um, face palettes. I had 13 like pre-made face palettes plus one magnetic face palette for a total of 14. And in January, um, it was nine. And in July, it was 10. So that's increased quite a bit, but I did get two with my beach, like Christmas collection stuff. And I got some from my sister that she just gave to me as well that she no longer used. So I don't know. I, I'm not really big into face palettes, but I really do like the ones I added. 14 isn't too bad. Um, blushes, single blushes, I have 21. I started the year with 21. I decluttered some and then I added some. So in July I had 22 blushes. I had added one but yeah now I have apparently decluttered some blush so I have exactly the same number of powder blushes as I had at the beginning of the year so I guess that's not bad I mean it's not a great number but it's not bad bronzers I know that's gone up I have 10 bronzers now and the beginning of last year I had nine and then in July I had 12 so I guess I've decluttered some bronzers since July so that's good good job Rachel good job okay and then powder highlights I currently have 18 and then in January I had 14 and I had 14 in July so I've gotten four in the past six months not the best but like there were a lot of like limited edition like Batman and Rudolph and that kind of things that I just couldn't resist. <laughs> okay, and then freckle pens, which was a category I think I added in July. I didn't have it. Yeah, I added it in July. I didn't have it in the beginning of the year. But I still only have one freckle pen, which I think is fair, like completely reasonable to have a freckle product. Um, for body glow products like glow lotions and sprays and all that, I have five. I started with, um, four and then in July I had five. And, um, I don't really use those all too often, but I do like having the option if I'm like gonna wear something that exposes like my shoulders or my legs or anything like that. I like being able to put on something glowy. So, um, five isn't bad. I currently have two fake tanners, which was a category I added in July, and I had one in July. I've had these sent to me to do videos on. I have not um, 
purchase any of the fake tanners and honestly after doing the videos and trying them out they seem like so much work I don't even know if I'm gonna use the ones that I have I might try and just give them away to somebody else but we'll see and then a, a separate category um, because I didn't know whether to put it as like a primer or what it's it's called the pore factor I've mentioned it on my channel before um, but it's like a skincare slash makeup product from Bedrock and I put it in a category all of its own because it kind of doesn't fit in any one category and so that is something new that I have added. On to lips. <laughs> so masks, bombs, and scrubs. I have five bombs, four masks, and four scrubs for a total of 13. In January I had... 13 so same exact number and July July um come here July I think the paper got wet and it's sticking together I had 12 so like I lost one and I got one back <laughs> okay whatever and then I have 13 tinted lip balm products which is a lot is that the same amount I started with um, no, I started with eight, so that has increased quite a lot. I definitely need to keep an eye on that, and in July, that was also still just, um, at ten, so it's even increased from July. And lip liners, I currently have 21. I know this number has definitely increased quite a bit since the beginning of the year, um, in January of last year, the lip liners were at 14, and in July, the lip liners were at 15, so I've gone up to 21 now, but, you know, I felt like I wanted something new and fresh in my collection as far as lip liners. Most of the lip liners that I've had, I've had for literal years. So NYX had this holiday set with five lip liners that was all nude lip liners. So I jumped on it and I put it in a giveaway too because I loved it so much. Um, bullet lipsticks, I currently have 48 full size and seven minis for a total of 55. And in January, that was 49. And in July, that was 53. So I have definitely increased in lipsticks, but there's always that Sephora lip stories collection that I feel like I need to get and then just a few other ones and I kind of want to like purge my lipsticks. I have this, I have this like feeling that if I go through all of my lip products and get rid of everything that I have had since before I moved back to Washington, then that will be good and I will have getting rid of a lot. But I don't know if I can do that because I'm really attached to some of my lip products. Okay, so liquid lipsticks. I have three minis and 27 full size for a total of 30 and um, that was 35 in January and um 38 in July so somehow I lowered the liquid lipstick number which is pretty good I did have those two in my project pan that I just um tossed because like I said they were pretty old and I felt like they were at the end of their life but yeah I actually went down in liquid lipsticks yay and then for glosses and oils I have 10 minis 33 full sizes and one gloss glitter primer for a total of 44 and in January that was 29 and in July that was 47 so um it's decreased since July but it's definitely increased since the beginning of the year and that's a lot of glossy products so I definitely need to keep an eye on that. Um, brows, I have three brow pencils 
in July, in January that was exactly the same in July that was exactly the same pens I have three I had two in January and three in July gels and waxes I have five I had three in January and four no six I can't count <laughs> I can't read six in July and then pomades I've had one all year straight across I haven't got any more pomades and powders I have three in January I had one and in July I had um, two. So I haven't increased too much in brow products. I feel pretty good in the brow category, but then I'm not really attracted to brow products. Like when new brow products come out, I don't feel the need to go out and purchase them because like, I feel like the things I have work just great and I don't feel like I'm missing out. Mascaras currently I I'm not counting again I've mentioned this before but I have like a small backup drawer of unopened products I'm not counting those mascaras and those products in this so opened mascaras in use I have seven and one of those seven is three mascaras in one so if you really want to like be really particular it's, it's ten but I'm counting the Wink Lash Trio from Kaja as one. So I'm saying it's seven, but you could say it's ten if you wanted to. And um, in the beginning of the year, I had eight. And in July, I had five. So it's kind of getting up there, especially because I'm generally not the person to fully use up mascaras before I toss them. So we definitely want to keep an eye on that. Um, glue liner and magnetic liner. I have eight. And in uh, January, I had three. And in July, I had seven. So that's quite a few, but most of them I am gonna use like um I I go through lash glue pretty quick I feel like um and lashes I currently have 43 pairs and I started with 23 pairs which I remember back when I made this and I was like oh my gosh 23 pairs is so much oh my gosh I can't believe I have 23 pairs then in July I had 44 pairs now I'm down to 43 pairs <laughs> that's a lot of lashes I'm trying to use them more frequently like I'm wearing a pair today I'm trying to get more use and more wear out of them but I really don't need to buy any more lashes okay next category is eyeliner for pot gel liners I have two I'm pretty sure that's like the same throughout the entire year yep I've had the same two the whole time I haven't added anymore clearly that's not a makeup category that I'm highly invested in for liquid liners I have seven full-size liquid liners and then one hybrid liquid and pencil liner for a total of eight liquid liners and um let's see that was seven in January and um let's see eight in July so not bad not bad uh, only increased by one and for pencil liners I have 27 and in January that was 24 and in July that was 24 so it's increased a little bit, but not too bad. I did have some sent to me, um, and I purchased a couple, but I don't think that's too out of control. Glitter liners, I don't even have to look. I still have the same exact five that I've had all freaking year. 
And now I have added a category that I didn't have before. I have a liner palette. I have a cake liner palette. So that is something new and that is something I definitely want more of. Like I want so many colors of that. I love my cake liner palette. I'm obsessed with it. I want to use it for all my looks, but then like all my looks aren't those colors here. I'll grab it. Um, it's, it's this one from Shop Yvette Beauty. It's so fun. I love it. But like these bright pastel -y colors don't work for all of the looks I want to do. Like it definitely wouldn't work with this look. So I need more colors and I will get more colors. Okay. And then eye primer. I have two eye primers and one glitter primer for a total of three. And I think that's pretty much stayed the same throughout the whole year. Oh, apparently at the beginning of the year I had four primers. So I've actually, I've actually decreased. And in July, for pages sticking together. July I had two. So it's fluctuated a little bit, but it's less than I had at the start of the year. And I don't think it's anything to worry about. It's like a pretty normal amount for someone who always uses eyeshadow primer and frequently uses glitter glue. Now, this is always the part where I'm like, so upset with myself. And it's it's not going to be any different this time. This this is the eyeshadow category. So for loose glitters and pigments, in January, I started with 67, and in July, I went to 75. Now I have 72, so I have decluttered a few since July, but 72 loose glitters and pigments. Ah! That's so many. Um, pressed and liquid glitters, I currently have nine. And that was um, seven in January and um, nine in July. So it hasn't increased in the past six months. So that's pretty good. And then shadow sticks, I currently have ten. And in January, that was 11. And in July, July, that was 10. So again, in the past six months, that amount hasn't changed. So not bad. Single shadows. Now, honestly, I don't know how accurate my count has been this past year because it's really hard to count everything and when you get into like higher numbers like you lose track and you're like wait what did I just count and so I feel like I haven't added any additional single shadows but somehow I went from 189 to 202 I don't I don't I, I don't know I feel like I have not purchased any singles all year but I started at 189 and now I'm at 202. Oh, I did depot the Natasha Denona Tropic palette though. That could be it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. And then, oh, this, the last but not least, the final eyeshadow category and inventory category in this whole thing is eyeshadow palettes. This is something I am truly ashamed of because I know in 2020 I only purchased like 30 palettes because I ranked all of them so I know there was like 32 palettes that I had purchased and I had ranked and that's like three a month or something which is a lot but not not too bad but like I have added a lot in 2021 so I started at 97 and then in July I went to 126 and despite decluttering after that point and passing on a huge stack of my palettes to friends and family because I was moving, 
I made it to 137 at the end of the year. Yeah, so I'm a bit ashamed of that point. So that is a, a big reason why I'm doing my no buy low buy situation that there will be a video on. But yeah, that is my entire inventory. If you guys would like to see me continue this series throughout 2022 and keep you updated on what my collection looks like in six months and at the end of the year, please let me know in the comments down below. And what is your inventory like? I'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!